Hey everybody, what's up? Today I'm going to show you a different type of collection. I'm going to show you my iPod Touch app collection. These apps I have are just kind of like random ones and stuff, and they're not like the most up to date or the like most popular or whatever. But there, I just felt like showing you the apps that I have, and I have like just a mixture of them. I used to have more, but I got rid of some just to save room and stuff. And yeah. I, uh, anyways, here's my iPod, and then look at the cool background. Wait, hold on. See? It's a little cassette and the iPod. <laughs> um. Anyways, it's all broken up into sections. This is a third generation iPod Touch, so I got this last year, a little bit after Christmas. Anyways, I'll go to social first, and that's right there. I'll just go through it quickly. I have, let's see, uh, right here, the purple one is IRC, that's like a place for chat rooms. And then there's Skype. I'm sure y'all know what Skype is. They have the voice chat and Facebook. My yearbook is something, if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a, it's another social website, social network that's a combination of like Facebook and MySpace. I don't go on it as much, but yeah, I go on it once in a while. And then I got AIM, MSN, Paul, Paul Ringo, which is another IM chat. And then I have um, this uh, emo con thing, it just has like a list of different types of smiles and things like that, icons. Okay, and that's enough for the social thing. And then I'll we're here where it says browsing. Of course, there's the iTunes and App Store, Safari that comes with it. And then I also have Google Earth and Flickr. See, here's Google Earth opening up. Um, anyways, it works just like a regular Google Earth. It's not as good as the, you know, on a regular computer, but it's good enough for a mobile device, I think. Um, then I got Last FM, even though I don't go on there as much, but I just use that like for music. And then there's AOL Radio, and Justin TV is like it's like live videos that you could watch or you could update on your own. Okay, and then I have Entertainment. Oh, start from the bottom. Okay, Pac-Man. Everyone knows what Pac-Man is. And then I got an older version of Jelly Car. More on test is the, um, oh, it's like, if you don't know what that is, it's one of those, like, trick quizzes or whatever. It's, it's fun. And then, of course, I have Tap Tap Revenge. I don't really play these as much as I used to. They, but yeah. Uh, like when there's other people around, they often play them and stuff, and I just play them like once in a while. And a toilet, this is a toilet paper thing where you have to like p try to unravel the toilet paper by like, uh, at, well, it's not by some time. I think um, you have to like beat the current score, the current time or whatever. And then South Park Avatar is really cool. This is one of my favorite apps. Um, you just pick one of these character one of these people characters or whatever and um like it have the accessories like hair eyebrow wait, oh, I'm like put it a little closer and you just click one let's see I'll try here and then you just scroll like this and it picks the hair for you, and it does it for like glasses, mouth, eyes, and you can make your own self hug avatar of you and your friends. It's really cool. Um. Okay, I got button button box. It's just like a button, random buttons to press, 
and you could also when you have the mic in you could actually record your own noises and then what's really cool is it's unlimited like there's just random ones oh yeah there's some different one and just go like that and right here um on top that little red button right there is where you press and record anything you want and then uh, there's vo a, a voice app where you could just like record your voice and morph it. You know, I, everyone knows what those are. And then iSoda is really cool. If you don't know what that is, it's a, like a little vending machine. A pretend vending machine, you press the button and then you pretend to put a coin in by just pressing this. Turning around. Okay, and then it actually fills up with pop. And you just drink, pretend to drink it. And it looks like you actually drank it. And there's a few others. Like, I think there's lime soda or whatever. Um, an energy drink. And, okay, now I'm going to go to the next thing. This is games. Uh, there's a roller coaster game. Right, um, hold on. The worst is New York, where it's one of those motion sensor ones where you move it, like, move it around and stuff. I think it's also it's also an online game, and then there's a one the other roller coaster game that you see there, the one with the blue tracks. That's one where you can actually build your own roller coasters and actually ride them. It's a really cool app. And then the water slide one is similar to the New York roller coaster one, but except it's like a water slide, and like you have to try not to like fall off it and stuff. And then Sam's remote is actually um her his if you know what I our car I Carly is, and it. You just turn around and it has red, regular buttons, kind of like the bun box thing, but it's based on uh, Carly and mostly stuff Sam says. <laughs> and it has like little cartoon effects and things like that. And you could also pick sampler over there, and that actually picks songs from your iPod list. And then. There's a tornado. This game where it says tornado right next to um, s um this iCarly one is where you spin really fast. And depending how s you hold the iPod like this, and you spin in circles, and how depending how fast you spin is how fast the tornado goes. And it's supposed to be like up. You want to try to get up to an F5. And then there's Doodle Buddy, which is a painting one. You could if you have Wi-Fi, you could do it like with a buddy, and you can see like their paintings come up. Toy physics is like a glow game where like you move around toys and stuff like that. It's like a virtual kids room or whatever type thingy, and it's a little hard at first, but it gets simple after a while. It's just like you move things around and rotate and stuff like that. It's not so much a game. I guess it's kind of like a board buster or whatever. And then paper toss. I'm sure everyone knows what that is. You just try to toss a piece of paper in an office or bathroom waste basket. And then this tornado one is one of those another most essential one where you have to try to move the tornado around to destroy like all the targets like their houses, and barns, and stuff like that. And you have to try to damage all the stuff, but for a certain time. It's called um, Trailer Park Trash Twister, Trailer Park Twister Light, or something like that. Um, and then. I'll go to miscellaneous, which is the last section here, and I, there's a Titanic game where, right here, where there's the people, the Titanic sinking, and it's also like on fire, and you have to lift the people out of the, sh the ship, and then put them into lifeboats by a certain time, and you have to try not to drop them in the water, and to get extra points, you have to, um, get the same colored people in a boat. It's like three per boat, so if you get like three greens or three blues, you get more points. And you can and if like you get three people in the water, three strikes are out and yeah. And then here's of course Bash the Computer. There's actually an app of it. I actually is in my previous video, the computer version. And this is the iPod version. Right here. Ah! 
and you just use your hands instead. Your fingers instead of the mouse, of course. Which is just really cool because I like that game. It's fun. I actually just uploaded that one. And then Talking Robbie or Roby or whatever is also in some of my previous videos. Is one of those talking apps. And then an Abacus. I thought it would be cool to have an old fashioned computer or whatever on a modern day computer. And it works just like a regular Abacus. Except it's not very touch sensitive, but whatever. It's still cool. Um, then there's Eye Glow Stick. You shake, you go like this. Shake it. And it glows, and there's like different effects. Wait. Not sure if you can see it very well. Okay, maybe you can see it a little better like this. And there's this different one. I'll pick this one. This one looks cool. There's like animated ones. Okay. Not sure you can see this one very well, but yeah. Oh, there it is a little. Anyways, um, there's Pocket Pond, which is really cool. Okay, um, it's water and stuff, and you press it and it makes like real realistic water nature sounds. And there's fish, and like you can feed the, put lily pads in it. And other, there's other fish you could choose to put in. And you could also feed um, the fish flies and try to like get the fly with your finger and it goes into the water and then the fish eventually eat it. It's really cool and it looks realistic. It's also really relaxing, I think. And then Epic Fail is one of those apps that has like random pictures from the internet. They're supposed to be funny. Oh, they're really, really cool. And they always use, they update usually every day. And then uh, Funny Pics is another one like that. Yeah. yeah, these are just randomly funny pictures that people find off the internet and they upload to this on this app. Okay. Oh, and then the last one is wallpapers, which is another f collection of photos. But these are just like photos that you could put on the for your back of your iPod or iPhone, which is really cool. And you can like search, you could press menu and find popular, or new, or you could search for your own. And it's really cool. And that's just about it. And of course, I have the native apps that are on here like YouTube and Safari and stuff and like this pretty much is one of my favorite devices I take it everywhere with me and of course I have my list of music maybe if you guys want for my next video I could tell you my collection of music on here and also like I use this also for like a miniature computer or a PDA or whatever and you know when there's Wi-Fi I could connect and stuff and it's just really cool so yeah that's pretty much it. If you guys want to make a video of your, if you guys have an iPod or iPhone, you guys want to show your app collection, you could. Just you, you, you do it as a video response or whatever, and that would be really cool. Or you could comment below. But um, that's about it. I'll talk to you guys later, and have a nice, have a, a nice weekend. Bye.